Aeon Neums. What's not to love? Aeon Neums are winter growers and go dormant in summer. Spring has just begun and we are still a ways off before the summer heat comes. So maybe it's still a good time to sneak in some propagation? Show you something else that I'm trying now. I plucked off several leaves, well not just several, lots of leaves from my Aeoniums. I wonder if I'm going to have success with them. We'll see. I usually have success with a fatter type of Aeoniums, like this one. Kiwi or dream color, but not with the flat, flat types of aeoniums like, like this, the arboreum. So we'll see. I'm not really sure, but I think I've seen it work before. I don't know. Unlike most succulents with fleshy leaves, the arboreum species of Aeoniums have almost flat leaves and they dry up a lot quicker. They are also much wider at the node with more points of contact, making it quite tricky pulling the leaves out without damaging them. But as you can see here, it can be done. As you can see, the leaf is quite wide. You will have to pay extra attention to both sides of the node. Both ends are firmly attached to the stem. You'll have to apply pressure at these points to detach both ends. Once the ends detach, there would be much less resistance getting the middle portion of the node out. So let, let's try this again. Let's do the same thing, look at both ends. Give it a little twist just to loosen up and detach the ends and voila, it's that easy. Let's try one more time. Again, look at the ends, detach both ends, apply a little bit of pressure and we're good. Here's an incorrect way of doing it, if you just simply push down on it, it will break. So you'll have to be extra careful and you just need to know where the, the ends are connected to the node. In this case, it's mostly both edges. Once you get the hang of it, plucking Aeonium leaves is actually pretty easy. Some will say, it's all in the wrist. It's all in the wrist. Well, I'll say, it's all in the twist. It's all in the twist. And just to show that this technique works on other flat leaf aeoniums, I'm going to try it on this starburst. Here's a few leaves that I plucked earlier. As you can see, they've been cleanly removed from the stem. So it's possible with these types. As before, you'll have to take note of where the leaf is connected to the stem. And from the looks of things, the node is attached at the sides and the bottom of the leaf node. So we'll have to be careful to apply pressure to those parts first before trying to pull the whole leaf out. So apply some pressure to the sides by giving it a twist, do one end and the other end alternately, go slowly if you have to, and there, I did it. Now I'm also showing you that it can be done on the sunburst. So this is my sunburst, it's low on the ground and I don't want to pull it up, but I managed to pull some. 
I apply the same technique by just twisting them off. It's pretty much the same as the sun as the starburst. They have the same shape of nodes. As mentioned before, I usually have low success rates with the flat types, but who knows, maybe I'll have better success this time. Keep an eye out for an update video within the next few weeks or maybe months. Till then, thanks for watching.